Hello my fellow YouTubers. Today we're going to repair a leaking faucet in a bathtub. This is a Moen faucet and we're going to disassemble everything and replace the valve inside and then reassemble it to get rid of our small drip leak. I'm going to go through the process. I might fast forward through some of the parts of the tutorial once I start working on it. It's just so you can get the basic idea. And today's first steps, the tools you'll need are a basic couple of wrenches. It depends on how badly the old valve stem is stuck inside. You'll need an Allen wrench and you'll need a screwdriver and a brand new valve stem kit. It comes with a little bit pack of grease. The Phillips screwdriver is to take off the back plate. The first step is to use your 5 ths Allen wrench to take off the handle. First though, you'll turn off the water, the main water, so that you don't have water gushing out. Then, once you've confirmed the water is off, you will remove this, this handle by unscrewing the Allen screw. It's also called a hex screw. You don't want to lose the screw. So, just so we don't lose it at all. The next part is it just comes right off like that. I'm going to actually take off this black layer first. This is a uh, handle so we don't lose the screw. I'm going to put it right there. At the this is your temperature control knob. We don't want to lose the position of that. So I'm just going to set it down carefully. This sleeve comes out pretty easily. But before I take the sleeve out, I'm going to take the faceplate cover off. Now, you've exposed the valve stem. The part that you're going to want to remove is this piece right here. And we're going to replace it with this new one. Let's see. In order to remove it, you'll need to pop out this key. So you have to pull this key out in order to remove the valve stem. Hopefully it will break free. So sometimes this gets really stuck. So what I do, what I like to do is stick my finger, my uh, the fingers of my pliers, in as far as I can, squeeze it pretty pretty tight, as tight as you possibly can squeeze, and just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle back and forth until it starts to come. And when it starts to come out, you just slowly wiggle it back and forth, back and forth 
and the back and forth motion will help it to come out. Now so you don't lose these seals that are on it. You want to make sure that you hang on to it as you're taking it out. Now these seals are important on the new one. You don't want to lose them. Sometimes they wear out and that's why you get a little bit of leaking. Now that we got the now that we got the old valve stem out, it's important to get your new valve stem and put it in. It's slightly lubed already, however they do give you a little bit of lube that you can use. They don't really give me enough lube so I always bring my grease and I like to put a little bit extra grease on it. Now it's important when putting the new one in, you put it in the same way the old one came out. So our HC was on top, so we're going to insert it so our HC is on top, making sure our two black rubber gaskets don't fall out while we're inserting it. Carefully just push it in to position. Now all you got to do is nice and slow. Now this one you don't want to wiggle back and forth. You want to just slide in. Nice and slow. Push it all the way in. Once it's all the way in, you're going to want to take your key carefully so you don't lose it and insert it back into the slot. That locks it in place so it doesn't come out. Next, what you'll want to do is position your faceplate retainer. Now, it came with a sleeve, so we will put a sleeve over the top. And that sleeve, the key in the sleeve should fit over the top of the lock key that we just inserted. I want to install my face plate simply because it makes it easier to attach the two screws. These are Phillips head screws. Next, you will want your temperature control insert. And then you'll want your on off handle controller, which is held on by a Phillips head. Seal everything back on, and it'd be a good idea to check for any leaks. This is all the way on, this should be all the way off. So, to check, I would recommend turning on the water next. So, once you get it on, you're going to want to turn the water on to check that you have have it turned the right way and you still have hot water on the hot water side and lukewarm water on the warm water side and then cold water on the cold side and then when you turn it off that it truly turns all the way off and does not drip. 
which I think we're good to go. I don't see a drip. Now what I like to do is you can either turn the water off and then screw this fixture piece completely back on or close the drain in case you lose your screw. You don't want to lose it down the drain. Put your handle on. I like to put a white towel down just in case the bolt falls. And I'll try and do it from the bottom so I don't have to re run down and turn my water off since my water supply is all the way in the basement. And it's just an Allen wrench again to screw that in place. Come on. Tap it a little bit, make sure every last drop comes out. Sometimes there's a little bit of residual water. A couple of drips from the residual are okay, but if it's dripping a lot, it might mean that you don't have it completely inserted incorrectly and you have to take it all apart and reinsert it again. And that's it. That's how you change a leaky water faucet. Have a good day, guys. Bye.